Welcome back to the Movie Man. Today I will show you a 2019 American drama film, Hala. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. The movie begins with a girl named Hala. She is raised in a religious family and follows strict rules. At breakfast, the mother rebukes her for skipping morning prayer. However, Zahid Hala's father believes it's forgivable. He is proud of his daughter who is as smart as he is. Late for the bus. Hala goes to school on a skateboard given to her by her parents. She barely makes it to class on time. Hala reads her essay about freedom in front of the class. It reflects her feelings. One of her classmates laughs at her. The teacher gives the students new homework asking them to write an essay about their point of view. During the break in a school canteen, Hala is talking to her classmates who share their summer plans. One of them wants to dye her hair and get a tattoo. This is something that Hala cannot do to her traditions. In physical education, Hala wears modest clothing, unlike the other girls. After school, she must immediately go home and pray. At dinner, Aram scolds her husband for not taking his eyes off his phone for a minute but Zahid who works at a law firm says he has issues with a client. Aram also dislikes that the daughter only talks to the father and not to her. Zahid asks his wife to stop nitpicking their daughter. Aram complies. Hala who reads a lot is more interested in communicating with her father. When Zahid was driving her to school the next morning he asked the daughter to be more understanding of her mother. According to Zahid before meeting him Aram was different and had many plans for the future but then she dedicated herself to her husband and their daughter. Zahid's parents chose the bride for him. He explained to his daughter that it's a tradition and that marriage is more than just love. In the evening, Hala visited the Facebook page of a cute boy named Jesse Ross. She has long been in love with her classmate and looks only at him on the school bus. One day when Jesse was skateboarding. Hala decided to join him that's how a conversation started between them. Turns out Jessie listened very carefully to her essay and remembered many of her thoughts. Hala can't stay for long so she went home. It was the most ordinary evening. However, the parents have no idea that Hala feels trapped. Aram told her daughter that the neighbor's son saw her in the skate park where there were many boys. Hala assured them that she was not alone but with another girl. Aram asks her daughter to be more cautious. The next day in the library, Hala approached Jessie herself. They started talking about literature. It turned out that the young people have many shared interests. After school, they decided to take a walk together. Jesse read his favorite poems to Hala. Then it was her turn. Their literary tastes matched. The young people had a good time. Hala confessed to Jesse that she thinks he's cool. That evening Aram and Hala saw Zahid off at the airport as he was going on a business trip. Looking at her father and mother Hala can't help but smile secretly from her parents. Hala continues to communicate with Jesse. He gave her his number so they could always keep in touch. Hala feels that her life is being filled with new colors but at home, she is forced to continue following strict rules. Aram was unhappy when she found out that her husband would be late. That same evening Jessie texted Hala inviting her to hang out but she couldn't leave the house so late. Aram tries to find an understanding with her daughter and suggests that they go shopping together to choose new clothes. Hala was not in the mood and didn't want to try anything on. When the girl liked the sleeveless sweater, the mother said that it was out of the question. Instead, the mother convinced Hala to buy a shirt. In the parking lot. The mother and daughter quarreled. Hala was tired of her mother constantly controlling her and putting pressure on her. The girl wants to control her future. The next day, the English teacher Mr. Lawrence praised her for the essay and said she had talent. He promised Hala that he would soon provide her with a recommendation letter for college. At every opportunity, Hala leaves home. The friend shared her plans to move out of her parents' house to finally live independently. All of Hala's peers are already dating boys but she is not allowed to. Despite everything she continues to see Jesse. They have a lot of fun and feel comfortable together. Hala feels she has found her soulmate. After the walk, they went to a cafe till the copyright. Hala did not expect to see her father there with some woman. They were holding hands. Since Hala is not allowed to go out with boys she hurried to leave unnoticed. The mother was very displeased that the daughter stayed out late. However, 
Hala did not pay attention to her mother's reproaches thinking about what she saw today. Ram in turn is sure that her husband's flight is only tomorrow morning. Going to the law firm's website where her father works, Hala found out that the woman's name was Sean and Taylor. Hala felt confused and disappointed. The next day Jesse read his essay in front of the class. It turned out that he saw his father only once in his life. Hala shared his sorrow. Zahid returned home. When the daughter asked about his work, he said that a woman had allegedly approached their law firm who was unlawfully fired during maternity leave. Hala can't stay at home any longer and invites Jess for a walk. He agreed and soon they met. Against the rules, Hala ate meat that was forbidden by her religion. On this strange evening, the young people kissed for the first time. Hala returned late and the father demanded an explanation. It turned out that he saw through the window his daughter coming out of someone's car. Hala locked herself in the room and cried. The next day during class, she was barely listening to the teacher thinking about the situation she was in. When Mr. Lawrence asked her about freedom, she couldn't hold back her emotions. Later Hala met Jesse again in the park. He advised her to tell the mother the whole truth but she was not sure it was a good idea. When the mother called, Hala ignored it. She didn't want to come home so she agreed to go to Jesse's house. Passion arose between them. After what happened, Hala felt devastated. She returned home very late and excused herself by saying she was at the skate park. The father was very angry believing that his daughter was dishonoring their family. He demanded an answer to who she was seeing. Hala had no other choice but to tell part of the truth. However, Hala assured them that Jesse was just her friend and that they were just taking a walk without doing anything wrong. Zaha didn't believe her and lost his temper. Ram stood up for her daughter and told her husband that she was not at fault. Later praying in her room and hearing the parents arguing, Like and subscribe may look simple for you, but for us, it's precious, please like. Subscribe, and press the bell icon for the latest notifications. Thank you for being so supportive. Hala cried. Zahid blamed his wife for raising a liar. The next day, noticing Hala's condition, Mr. Lawrence asked her to stay and asked if everything was okay at home. The teacher also suggested she talk to him or the school psychologist. However, Hala didn't want to discuss it with anyone. Later she told Jesse that they should no longer see each other. Jesse demanded an explanation for why she decided to break up with him. Hala simply replied that there could be nothing between them. She cried alone for a long time and then went to Shannon's house and saw her daughter who looked like her father but Hala still didn't dare to ask the woman anything and ran away. The atmosphere at home becomes increasingly tense. Zahid doesn't even want to see his daughter considering her hopeless. Hala overheard the father telling her mother that he never wanted this marriage. All these years Aram thought their desire to marry was mutual but it turned out that Zahid's father insisted on it. In school, Hala didn't talk to anyone left alone with her problems. Her parents started arguing a lot so Hala didn't want to go home. In the evening Aram told the daughter that her father's friends would soon arrive. The son of this man wants to marry Hala. This made her cry. Of course, Hala had different plans for her life. Soon as agreed the father's friends arrived. Hala was introduced to her potential groom who had graduated from college and has good prospects. It turned out that Arash's mother is a PhD candidate and much smarter than her husband. While the woman was doing science. Her husband took care of their family. They looked like a happy couple. Hala preferred to stay silent answering Arash's questions reluctantly. When Zahid ordered his daughter to clear the table, Arash's mother said that the times when women did all the housework were gone. They were in America not in Pakistan. After all, Arash helped Hala clear the plates from the table. Hala seized the moment to flee the house. She ran non-stop and cried when Hala ran out of energy she just sat on the ground and kept sobbing. Such a future terrifies her. Hala didn't know what to do so she went to Mr. Lawrence's house and confessed that she didn't feel free. Also, Hala admitted that she didn't want to be herself because it would be much easier to be someone else. Hala asked for permission to stay there until morning. Mr. Lawrence thought it was a bad idea but in the end, he took pity. However, 
When he saw Halla in his room at night he told her to go home. Halla had no choice but to leave. It was early morning, Halla stealthily went into the house and tidied herself up. However, the mother heard her come in and knocked on her room. Ram told the daughter that arranged marriages were customary in their country but it was not mandatory here. Halla was angry at her mother for not supporting her. Later that day, she left a note for Mr. Lawrence and put it on his desk. Jesse who noticed it asked after class what the note was about. Halla made it clear to Jesse that she was not going to explain anything to him. Later the principal who found a note of gratitude from Halla addressed to Mr. Lawrence asked her to tell him what had happened. Halla barely holding back tears asked to call her mom. Ram in turn called her husband. She believes that as the head of the family, he should also know the truth. However, Zahid signing being busy sent Shannon instead. Ram was outraged not understanding why a stranger was interfering in their family affairs. Asking her mother to leave. Halla spoke privately with Shannon and asked her why she thought it was acceptable to date a man who had a family. Shannon replied that she was very sorry and that she just fell in love with Sid. However, Halla has no intention of forgiving her. Now Halla is afraid that Mr. Lawrence who did nothing wrong will suffer because of her foolish act. Halla realizes that she must take responsibility for her actions. Later she cried in the restroom. On the way home. Halla told her mother that she saw the father with Shannon. Ram seemed to react calmly. She had always suspected this. Zahid was waiting for them at home. This time Ram did not hide her feelings and made it clear that she was no longer willing to tolerate such an attitude. More than anything Ram fears that the daughter will repeat her fate and also be unhappy in marriage. Zahid did not expect the wife to want a divorce. He objected saying that a woman does not have the right to dissolve a marriage. In Zahid's opinion, Iran will not be able to live without him as she neither has a higher education nor a job. However, Iran was firm in her decision. Hala couldn't stand it and ran out of the house in tears. The mother followed her and said there was no longer any to run. From now on Hala is not alone. The mother and daughter hugged. Some time has passed, Hala is preparing to go to college. Things seem to be going well for Jessie too. In her school locker, Halla found the book in a note wishing her luck. Soon Halla filled out the college application form. Aram also wants to go to college to start a new life. Now without her husband Aram has a lot of free time so she can realize all her dreams. In the evenings it came to congratulate his daughter on getting into college. He gave her a small gift to mark the occasion. However. Halla was still resentful of her father and behaved rather coldly with him. At home, Halla eventually unwrapped the gift. It was a book but Halla doesn't want to take it with her to college. Now Halla can freely spend time at the skate park in fear of nothing. Soon she packed her things getting ready to leave. Ram who is very proud of the daughter hugged her. Halla got on a plane and just a few hours later she was in another state. Now she has to live in a student dormitory and be independent. Halla settled in her new room. Despite everything she tries not to miss the prayer. However, Halla no longer wears traditional closed clothing. For the first time in her life, she can be herself and not pretend. That was all of the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.